had been an only child for five years. It was fun, but all my other friends had siblings. I was someone who thrived of acceptance, so I was really excited when my mom told me that I was going to be a baby brother. I'd have someone to talk to, to relate with, someone that would go to school with me. And so did I know. Dave Dolua Timila Yenu for sure was born on the 18th of May 2010 at a hospital in Lagos, Nigeria. I wasn't there to witness it, but I can paint a picture from what my mom told me. The doctor was running late, and the head midwife was getting annoyed saying she had children to take care of at home. The procedure wasn't complicated and my brother was born. The first round of prenatal care was done and he was allowed to sleep with my mother. Later that night, they realized that his nose had been blocked all day and the lack of oxygen had affected his brain development. A few months later, my brother was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. Ten years down the line, David has never gone to school. He's never had a teacher, classmates, none of that. He had a speech therapist once, but that didn't last long. My parents scouted for schools all to no avail. The schools were available either lacked necessary facilities or failed to ensure my parents and my brother would be given the care he needed. So instead, we hired caretakers at home and we took care of him the best way we could. My brother is 10 years old and because of his disability, he can't stand or compete with people his age. At 10, I was in my first year in secondary school. At 10, my brother can't even speak to me. It breaks my heart that the educational system of my country, Nigeria, does not have adequate facilities to take care of special needs children like my brother who need help. A lot of these parents can't afford to take their children out of the country for help. A lot of these parents can't even afford to take care of these children. My mother tells me about how in more developed countries, the government helps parents of special needs children, providing those children with education, care and love, while the parents don't have to sacrifice their work or means of earning a living. In Nigeria, where I live, there's nothing of the sort. No one cares about whether your child is disabled or not, whether he can attend school or not. Don't get me wrong, there are facilities in Nigeria for special needs children, like the Anthos House for children with learning disabilities, and Benola Initiative for children with cerebral palsy. But these initiatives get little or no support from the government. These children, despite their disabilities, are strong and have more potential than we could ever imagine if we can help them and provide them with the necessary resources they need to excel. They just need extra attention. I leave you with this quote by John Robert Meehan. It shouldn't matter how slowly some children learn, as long as we're encouraging them not to stop. Thank you.